Corey Trepanier's Into the Arctic Video Journals. Brought to you in part by Eureka for Life Outdoors. The gun ready in case. Go on. Nice puppy. Good boy. We just had three Arctic wolves come down along the edge of the bluff, and where it pinches right down, there's only about 30 feet between the water and the bluff, and they just showed up around the corner, and we're just camped here, uh, what, maybe a couple hundred feet away from there, so they had no choice. They came upon us and they saw us and. And then they came right around the tent. They kind of came around each side of us, a little, they little unnerving. It's the first time we had real wild wolves come right around, but they're down the shoreline way past there now. Beautiful animals, absolutely stunning. And uh, they hung around nice and close, got some, some decent video, I think, of them. And what a feeling, though. There's a one on our list that we were hoping to see. Three. It was uh, some Arctic there. wolves. And yep. sure enough, we had three come, I couldn't get any closer. They're actually sniffing the tent. They do the typical pattern you expect them to do. Start spreading out. One down, lead guy up on the right hand side, two hanging in down low. It's pretty cool the way they set up. And as it turns out, they're frightened just by the sound of your voice, just by raising your voice at them. They seem to be quite startled, so. <laughs> So today we're going to take the time to go explore the foot of the glacier. We've gone up the side and checked out further up into the mountains, but haven't had a chance to get right up against it yet. It is huge. It's hard to tell, you know, when you're this far away, just how big it is. But as you walk and walk, get a little closer, it starts to loom over you. Wow. That little bit of sun lasted all of maybe two minutes, if that. But it gave me just enough light to see what potential there is here along the crest of the glacier as the sun caught it and reflected in the water. I was planning on crossing the river right now to see on the other side, but with this water in the foreground and all these rocks, it's giving me lots of potential right here. But uh, sure enough, it's raining now. There's big spits of water all over the rocks. So. I'm sure it'll just pass. It'll come and it'll go. It's what you get up here. Rain, snow, sun, any time of the year. A little layer of sand off of here. Nice. How's it feel now that you can see? Boom! If I said I thought this day would never come, I'd be lying. <laughs> About time, it's good. Great time and uh, mosquito still. That should be a nice easy half kilometer walk down that hill. Finally. <laughs> uh, I think we're a little delusional and a little lost, but uh, Caroline finally, finally uh, making it back from our nine day hike out into uh, Henrietta Naismith Glacier region. It was an incredible time. 
But now we are white and ready to hit the hay. It's 10K since the parks guys come out and give us a hand. And they probably took about uh, 25 pounds each of their packs, so call it 25, 30 pounds. So we did the last 10K with about 70 pound packs. And the first 10K with about 100, 110 pound packs. So this is gonna be one to remember for a long time. I get to bed. Carl has a mental breakdown. <laughs> Overworked, underpaid, underfed. That's what the problem is. If he asked you to go hiking with him, <laughs> he'd tell him you. <laughs> I quit this job. Good night. I'm out of here. <laughs>